What's up YouTube, it's Bob Machiavelli coming at you guys today with a really special video. Today I wanted to share with you guys my top 15 pairs of vans. They may not be the most limited, rare, exclusive vans or whatnot, but they're definitely really solid and I love every single one of them. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. There's a lot I want to go over, so... Let's crack right into it. So, out of the 15 pairs, I think I'm gonna start with kind of the more basic shoes, I guess, if that makes sense, just as far as like patterns or accessibilities and things like that. Before I get started, I just wanted to note that this isn't in any particular order or anything like that. These are literally just 15. I'm kind of just basing them on like, almost like a type of van, if that makes sense. So, I'm just gonna run through them all. But yeah, so the first one I wanted to show you guys is the classic Red Authentics. So, me personally, I love the hell out of this shoe. The color of this shoe, that red and white, I don't know what it is about the red with the red stripe and the white laces, but these shoes pop so well. And if you lace them the right way, I don't know what it is about just like the way you can lace these shoes. They just really, really look classic. I've seen a lot of old school pictures of like Tony Alva and just like a lot of other uh, classic van skaters just riding in these. And I'm definitely hunting for one of those old school made in the USA quad stitch pairs. But as far as just like an everyday kind of shoe, as far as something that just stands out, looks really amazing and is great to literally wear anywhere. I think it looks almost better the more beat up you wear them. The Authentic is probably my favorite Vans model and this colorway is definitely up there. So I just want to show you guys these. Super general release. I believe these are like 45 bucks or something at any Vans store in the world. So or mo even any store that sells Vans, most of them have this color. This is one of the more classic ones. This shoe also has a lot of personal meaning to me too, just because I got to wear this shoe when I got to open up for Andre Nicotino last week in Santa Cruz. So that was a really unreal moment for me. These shoes are just, you know, like a classic staple. And they just, I don't know what it is, you know. I've been watching a lot of bands, Warped Tour documentaries, and just, you know, like artists that I idolize on the Warped Tour. And seeing them just rock those stages wearing those Vans Authentics, it's just... It really just touched me personally and it's something that I really really love about the shoe and it just kind of gave me vision. There's this really awesome picture, I'll try to throw it up on the screen right now that my buddy Jackson took. Um, and you can see the waffle of this shoe just kind of up against the speaker and it's probably one of my favorite pictures I've gotten to take in. So I really 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 love the hell out of this shoe. That is the Vans Red Authentic. As far as the second shoe that I'm going to show you guys, this is going to be the white authentic, sticking with the authentic theme. Now, this authentic is a little different than your traditional true white authentic. This is part of the overwash pack, and this is actually the Blanc on Blanc, I believe it's spelled. Um, I love the hell out of this one, but, it, you know, I, I kind of almost see it as like a my nicer version of the true whites which are these guys which i'm sure all of you have seen but yeah these i kind of look at these guys in the same boat these ones are pretty beat up i've worn these to work a good amount um definitely played a lot of music in these and just how to, these are kind of like my beater white true white authentics i need to clean that up but yeah, you guys get what these guys look like. As you guys can see, some of the main differences really between them is this guy's just kind of like an overwashed, kind of cream colored white. This one's gonna be your true white. They have the different colors right here as far as where you put your laces. And then um, the actual lace tips on this guy are gonna be this longer, uh, more cream colored, along with the fact that the laces are thinner on this guy and a different texture as well. Another thing, the soles are different as well. But um, I almost like, you know, wear these shoes trade off, you know, depending on what I'm doing. This white one, it's just, there's nothing more classic than just that all white, true white band. They, you know, you can wear it with no socks, you can wear it with, you know, jeans. They just look great with everything. It's literally just one of the most classic silhouettes and classic color shoes. And then it's nice to be able to see that Vans is kind of expanding and doing um, little spin-offs of their classics, I guess, by doing the overwashed pack and some of their 
classic colorways and really adding cool little textures and things like that. One thing to note, this overwash uh, pack, all the authentics in the overwash pack, I've noticed that the canvas on them is a lot more rigid than the canvas on a lot of the other vans that you might be used to. So when you wear them with no socks, it kind of takes a couple wears before you can break them in and not get a blister or, or like wear no-show socks or something like that. But um, yeah, the Blanc de Blanc and the True Whites, I kind of see them the same in the same category. But yeah, these guys are definitely, I'm considering them one shoe in my top 15. So I'm really kind of just like, doing 16 but man whatever we out here Bam. moving down the line of authentics we're gonna take a look at another authentic off of the overwash pack that just was released this year this is going to be the let me read it right this is a weird name the overwashed overwashed nautical blue true white there you are nautical blue true white now, as far as uh, all the overwashed authentics, they came out with like a gray one, I believe. They came out with the white, they came out with this blue one. Um, I believe they had like another gray one that just came out, like a, there's two gray ones. There's one that looks like this and there's one that's like, um, like a really dark overwashed one. But anyway, this blue one, honestly, I wasn't expecting it to be one of my favorite ones because I've never bought a pair of Vans in this color. This is hands down my favorite one. I don't know what it is, but the way that like kind of marshmallow cream looking sole that already looks like it's like pre dirtied so you don't need to worry about, you know, scuffing it up really because it just already looks kind of aged and the shoe is made to look like that. Um, but it doesn't look dirty like gross dirty. It literally just looks like a little like marshmallow yellowed along with these lace tips right here. Um, which are the same thinner longer laces that I was talking about on that other white one and the way that these white lace tips stand out comparatively to the all white ones you can really tell what i was talking about just like how these lace tips look really really nice um these just look amazing on foot i don't know what it is no matter what i put these on with um the form of this this van uh authentic i don't know what it is some authentic sit differently like i'm gonna show you guys some ones in a minute that fit a little differently on your foot but um the way that these overwashed authentics fit from this year's pack uh freaking amazing i definitely recommend you at least get one of the colorways they're not that expensive i think they're like only 55 bucks and they're at most van stores so the vans overwashed Nautical blue, true white. I never can remember that name. It's so weird. All right. On to the next one. All right. Little camera adjustment. But this next shoe I'm going to show you guys is probably one of my favorite pairs of Authentics that I have. Now, I believe this shoe came out in like 2007 or 8. If anyone out there in the community knows when this shoe came out, please leave a comment down below because I definitely don't know and I definitely didn't Google it before I started this video. But regardless, this is one of the authentics. I believe this is the Dove Leather Authentic from the Marc Jacobs collab pack that came out a few years ago, like I said. Um, now, I got these guys on eBay and I have to say this was probably one of my favorite pickups that I've gotten from an eBay steal, if that makes sense. I bought one pair of Vans from this guy on eBay and he gave me a really good deal. And then um, a couple months later, I saw that he was selling these guys in a size 12. Now I'm traditionally a size 13. So when I saw that, I was a little hesitant, but I had never seen a Marc Jacobs, you know, dove leather. The way he had the, the pictures taken were beautiful too. Um, they didn't originally come with these green laces actually. They came with these uh, dove leather. That's what the name I think is called. But yeah, you can see that these laces that it came with match that kind of blue piping stripe that it has along with uh, this really, really, really soft uh, toe box and all that goodness. You can see right here on the tag, it says Marc Jacobs Vans. And then on the entire inside, it's got this crazy ass print of skateboards that say Marc Jacobs Vans along with that green waffle on the bottom. That's why I went with these green laces because when people see this initially, they're like, oh, that looks interesting, like the blue and green. It's just a weird color. But as soon as they see that bottom and they see that contrast, I don't know what it is, but people really seem to like it. And that's one thing I really, really, really like about these shoes. The quality of these guys is ridiculous. There's this leather kind of lining along the inside that it's printed. All those band skateboards are printed onto. 
Uh, this shoe just feels amazing when you have it on foot. I really wish they would do more collabs like this. You can see there's the heel tabs kind of worn off. I picked these guys up on eBay for like, I want to say 60 bucks, 65 bucks. So the price of like a normal, nice authentic. I don't even know how much they retailed for, probably around that same amount. But I wasn't really tripping. I had never seen these before. They're pretty hard to find in like the bigger sizes, like a size 12 or 13. So. You know, there's a couple of more out there that exist, like the Mark, in the Marc Jacobs collabs, but these personally I thought were super dope, and I wanted to share them with you guys. So yeah. Moving down the row of Authentics, I'm pretty sure if you guys are into Vans, you definitely have at least seen this shoe, or one of the shoes from this pack. But as you guys know, Vans is notorious for doing really awesome collaborations with Star Wars. Uh, in the last year or so, they put out a couple different packs tons of different shoes i was able to get a good amount of them and two of them are actually on my list that i've been wearing a lot but the reason i decided to put this shoe on is one look at this freaking design this is called the vans yoda aloha pack i believe everybody at my store we kind of nicknamed it to the yoda alohas but anyway these are probably one of my favorite prints that i've seen vans ever make when i first started getting into vans and i first started getting into the vans i were a little um just more than your traditional like authentics or like, you know, your, your straightforward pair of vans, the funkier kind of looking vans. I remember I was walking through Palo Alto and I saw this guy who was roommates with one of my friends and he was wearing these and I was actually on my way back from the van store and I saw that he was wearing them. I was like, bro, where'd you get those? I've never seen those before. I didn't really like look anything up or, and, or care really at that time. I didn't even know they were Star Wars vans. I just thought they looked sick with that blue and the floral pattern. So I was literally like, where'd you get those shoes? Those are so dope. I want to cop those. He told me that he had gotten them at a different store down the street that wasn't the van store because the van store, I guess, had sold out of these pretty instantly and he wasn't able to get his size. And he told me that he got the last pair from that store up the street. I kind of felt like I was just out of luck. Like, I didn't really feel like going online to hunt down a pair of shoes. Um, that really wasn't what I was doing at the time. So I was like, all right, whatever. A couple months later, I ended up working at a van store. And while I was working there, they randomly got a restock of all of the bigger sizes in this exact print. And... They hadn't, I guess, for months since the initial like sales, I guess, um, or since the initial release, and I lost my shit. I literally was like, damn, this is so dope. Like, I haven't seen these anywhere in my size. I had grown to appreciate them so much more after the couple months that I had really kind of lear learned a lot more about shoes and whatnot. Um, so as soon as I saw these, they were a must cop for me and it's pretty hard to wear these anywhere without getting compliments like i bought these for my sister as well because i knew she wanted them and she says she, she's never seen star wars and I, like she tells me she gets like five to ten compliments a day on these and none of the people complimenting them are complimenting her on the star wars fact it's just a really really dope print with yoda discreetly hidden there in the back really awesome white laces with those cool little lightsaber tips just a really awesome shoe for like bands, collectors, Star Wars enthusiasts, and people who just like a really crazy popping, awesome looking shoe. It's just an awesome shoe. Now, moving on to the next shoe that I'm gonna show you guys. This is my second to last authentic, so we're gonna move into some other styles in a moment. But um, this is definitely one of my favorite authentics that I've picked up, and it is off the Mirror Image Pack. Now, I believe the name exactly is just, oh, it's just green. Yeah, the Mirror Image Green. You guys saw the review, hopefully, that I did of these where I was like in a swamp of unboxing them. If you haven't, I'll leave the link down in the description below. But these are a crazy, crazy, crazy pair of vans. Just the texture. These are one of the few pair of vans that when I wear out, I've had people ask me, can they take pictures of them? So. These are off the California pack. They're gonna be a little harder to get. And the materials on these are crazy. It's not like your traditional canvas. There's something about this like material, this like felt almost kind of feeling. It is so soft. Like literally can't stress to you how soft this material is. This is like five times to 10 times softer than any other Vans Authentic that I have. So it's that's why I made the list is because one, it has like an insane print on it that you really can't not turn heads when you wear this. And then on top of that, it has a really crazy, amazing pa uh, texture to it. 
So when you wear these guys, you're gonna get nothing but comfort. Um, I definitely wouldn't skate in them. I feel like since it's so soft, they would rip and like half an ollie, but fucking, these are amazing shoes. I definitely would recommend picking up any authentic off the California line. You really won't be disappointed. All right, moving away from the authentics. Oh shit. Almost forgot. Final pair of Authentics I want to show you guys is also off the California line. Um, this came out, I believe, a couple months ago. I'm not sure exactly when, but this is the Dress Blue. This is the Royal Paisley Dress Blue Authentic off of the California pack. So this shoe, it made some lists of like kind of the hottest looking vans of the year. This is hands down probably one of my favorite pairs of vans that I own. I don't know what it is, but the way that dress blue kind of just sets off the entire um, base of the shoe, and then they add that really wild floral pattern throughout the entire thing. It's got this really nice thin cream, almost waxed like feeling laces, even though they're not, they're just like flat laces. Um, they feel almost waxed though. I mean, some people might think that's stupid of me to say, but whatever. It's got that same marshmallow cream colored midsole that the laces are. And I don't know what it is, that material, it's not quite as soft as the last one I showed you guys, but it's for sure uh, much softer than any other van that you'll get from the GR line. These are freaking incredible. I can't get over these. these. These are nonstop head turners. I wish I knew more about where this Paisley pattern came from, but it's absolutely incredible. These guys weren't that expensive, but they were definitely hard to find. If you can get your hands on it, I definitely recommend it. But yeah, that was the last Authentic on my list. So hope you guys enjoyed my favorite Authentics. Now let's move on to some other styles. The next shoe that I wanted to show you guys isn't an authentic. This is actually an old school. And this is part of the Liberty pack that came out, um, I believe early this year or last year, like end of last year, something like that. But these are the, let me read it right, Liberty Floral Vines. There you go, the Liberty Floral Vines. I don't know what it is about this. It's kind of got that white base with these crazy blue looking Liberty Vines all across the entire shoe. Now, I wasn't really the biggest fan of old schools to be honest until I got these, I'm not gonna lie. When I first put these on, that leather on the inside along with that purple insole, just the way that looked with this crazy blue color and the black, the blue, black, and white. I don't know what it was about this, but this colorway sold me and as soon as I put them on feet with the right pair of pants, they just look killer. So this really made me fall in love with old schools and it kind of set off a big uh, tangent of me buying a bunch of different old schools, but this was for sure my favorite because it set off that, that uh, style for me and it also is probably one of my favorite looking ones. You can't really wear this shoe out without people noticing it, so it's definitely great for all those occasions um, where you want that to be the case. This next one I'm gonna show you. It's actually a pair of Vans that they don't produce anymore. And it's definitely one of the most valuable to me personally in my collection. Boom, baby. <laughs> this is the Vans Grim Suede Low. It was produced in the USA, if you guys can tell by this really vintage box. And it is a size 13. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Vans didn't make shoes above size 12 back in the day when they were doing all their shoes, making them in the USA. I think they only made them up to 12s, and then if you wanted bigger than a 12, you'd have to get a custom order. So the fact that I was able to find a size 13 dead stock pair of a pair of Vans that doesn't even exist anymore with all the original laces, original insole, it's got that tab on the back that says made in the USA. It's not even rubbed off at all. These laces have the yellow tips so you know that they're vintage. This pair of Vans was made in 1992. I was born in 1993. So when I wear these, I, I can't even tell you what it does to someone who like gives a shit about this stuff to be able to walk around in a pair of shoes that's older than you and go to work and just tell them. When people ask me about these, I can't tell you how happy I get when I get to share that with them. And so many people come in and they're just like, damn, wait, that looks old as hell. Where'd you see this? I don't know what it is about these, but these are definitely one of my favorite pairs of Vans. This was the first made in the USA pair of Vans I had. Um, I'm still hunting down an authentic with that quad stripe, but as far as, you know, just like an entry level, I stole these on eBay for like 40 bucks or something for a dead stock pair of size 13 Vans that are over 21 years old. 
That's just crazy to me. So, very, very much in love with this shoe. This is uh, one of the most special shoes in my collection. I've only worn them a handful of times. But yeah, this is the Vans Grim Suede Low in the green suede, I believe, color. Yeah. Boom, now this next pair I'm gonna show you guys. This is a skate high, in case you couldn't tell. This is what the model is, a Vans. <laughs> this is a Vans skate high, you know, when you hit yourself in the face with your shoe. Why the Vans skate high? First of all, I fell in love with the Vans skate high as a model of a shoe solely because I remember watching my favorite rappers in the world just rock out on stage wearing this shoe. Now, as far as this colorway, you can see that this is called the black, this black in the gray checkerboard. Vans likes to call that pewter, so that's what they call their pewter checkerboard. Now, for me, the very first pair of Vans I ever got in my entire life was a pair of Authentics that was in this pewter checkerboard colorway. So, this colorway is something really, really sentimental to me personally because I have beyond a crazy amount of really awesome memories just wearing that shoe and skating down to my girl's house. And just a lot of really crazy moments. So, this colorway definitely is an important one to me. And when I saw it on this pair of skate highs, I definitely, definitely wanted to snag it because I had never seen a skate high with this checkerboard like that um, in this colorway that was available anytime recently in a, in a store for general release. And I actually snagged these at an outlet for just Beyond Cheap. So, this was a really, really great pair for me. Also explains the Beyond Destroyed box, but. Hey, can't really complain. I got them for a great price and I wear these all the time. So moving along with the skate highs in my collection, I'm going to show you guys the second pair of Star Wars collaboration vans that made my top 15. Now these are the skate highs in the dark side, Darth Storm I believe colorway, that was what it was. And this was actually one of the first pairs that I tried on. If you guys look back to my very first sneaker pickup video, I was picking up the Planet Hoth Authentics. There was a couple that I was trying on, and you'll see that I was actually trying on this shoe. And as time went by, when I had the money, I really, really wanted it because of the way that this all blacked out skate high looks. I can't even tell you what this does to someone when they look down. I don't know what it is too about this silhouette, like the narrow silhouette with those white eyelets, the lightsabers. People don't really tend to notice it's a Star Wars shoe because that pattern's pretty discreet on the side and it's an all black shoe. But the way that it fits to your foot, I don't know what it is about it. The silhouette of it is just, it's not as thick of padding, I guess. Maybe they did that because it was like uh, one of the movie club shoes or something like that. And they figured people wouldn't be skating in it as much. But it really, really sits nice on your foot. And it kind of has a more narrow look to it than some of my other skate highs. And that's probably the reason I like it the most because it's just like an all blacked out sneaker with that. Um, more narrow kind of feeling high top look so these are a great great shoe i wear these a lot and you can barely even tell um yeah but on to the next one boom so if you guys have been watching my reviews then you already know what this shoe is but this is the next skate high on my top 15 list this is going to be the california skate high zip reissue i guess in the boot leather pack that is in the A-Gate Gray colorway. Now, I did a full review on this shoe. If you wanna see that, the link will be down in the description. But solely just because of the leather quality of the shoe, the ease of use for putting on this like uh, YKK zipper, and just that colorway. This had to make it onto my top 15. I wear this all the time. It definitely uh, was kind of my entry level to really nice leather on a sneaker. And I think I might have said it in the review, but it's like the Vans Balenciaga, if that makes sense. I mean, like this pair of shoes compared to this one, the leather is obviously ridiculously nicer on a Balenciaga than it would be on a pair of Vans. But you'd be surprised how much this $110 pair of Vans, uh, how high the quality is of this leather comparatively to something where you're gonna get charged at the ass and I wouldn't recommend getting unless you really come up on it in like a steal or something like that but um, that's why I stay on eBay but anyway you can get a really amazing quality sneaker if you know where to look you know? <laughs> the next shoe that I'm gonna show you guys is an amazing amazing skate high that came off of the overwash pack that I was I was talking about earlier now this is the skate high that was in it and this is the black true white in the overwash colorway 
Now, I believe LBF Back did a really, really dope review on it. He beat me to it. I wanted to make a review of these. But um, I can just touch on it now. They couldn't agree more with what he was saying. These are just an absolutely phenomenal sneaker. Um, probably my favorite skate high to come out this year, I'd have to say. One of my, actually, no, sec, probably my second favorite skate high. I'm going to get to my favorite one. Anyway. This is just an amazing colorway. The way that like kind of like it almost looks like an overwash denim to it. The laces are that thin flat laces I was talking about with those whited out tips. I can't get over this sneaker. It just looks great. That kind of like already pre-dirty midsole that looks has that marshmallow color. Feel great, look great. Amazing skate hat. The next pair of skate highs, this is my second to last one on my list that I want to show you guys, is, bitch, you guessed it, the Supreme Vans Fuck'em Skate High. Now, this one came out this year. This is my first Vans Supreme collaboration shoe that I had ever gotten. I was lucky to get these for retail. Um, I wouldn't really recommend buying them over retail. And a lot of people tried to just get rid of them that bought them, and they kind of are just sitting around. So it really wasn't the most popular shoe. It just means a lot to me personally because it was my first experience buying anything from Supreme. First experience buying a Vans collab shoe. First experience, just a lot of firsts for me with this shoe. And I've worn this to like, you know, a couple shows and things like that. And it really, really is a sentimental shoe for me. And that whenever I wear it, it, it was one of the only shoes that I have that I wasn't allowed to wear at work, which I freaking love because it just says fuck them all across the entire shoe. But yeah, definitely a, a great quality shoe. Definitely some nicer materials on this one than on your traditional pair of Vans, but really nothing too, <laughs> really nothing too special. Yeah, but these are the Van Supreme FE Fuck'em Editions in the red. Bam. So the final pair of Vans that I want to show you guys today, this is probably my favorite pair that I own right now. And it's not because it's the most expensive or not because it's the rarest or not because of any of those reasons. Solely because I just love the way that this shoe looks and I have a lot of awesome memories with it personally. So as you guys can see, we're taking a look at the Vans Skate High reissue and the 10 ounce canvas with the Tango Red Marshmallow colorway. You guys can see it's got that red 10 ounce canvas across the entire outside of the shoe with a white upper across the, a white tongue across the entire middle of it with those white laces. It's gonna have white stitching with a white jazz stripe and then that marshmallow colored outsole that almost looks like the overwashed outsoles, but it's just considered marshmallow, that's what they call it. Along with that red leather along the inside of the heel, or along the inside of the shoe right here. Now, this shoe means a lot to me because first of all, when I first saw that these guys were coming out in all the different colorways, I love the hell out of how they looked. I just think that white tongue with the colored side just looks so clean the way that they look on foot. I haven't seen um, Vans do that on any pair of shoe that I've, I'm aware of, and I just thought it was one of my favorite things I had seen. So when I first saw them, I was calling the stores every single day, asking them when they were going to get them. Apparently there was some strike going on at Vans, so all the shoes were sitting on a ship in the middle of the ocean, and just no one knew when they were going to show up. Finally, I show up there one day with one of my friends and they had these guys on display. They didn't have any of the other colors yet, but this was the one I had wanted the most along with the green. So I instantly bought it and it has barely left my foot since. I've literally slept in these, as ridiculous as that sounds. Like I just came home and passed out in them one night, real story. But I also wore these on stage when I performed with Andre Nicotina last week. And these are just a great shoe. I can't get over how much I love it. I'm really excited to get the other colorways, but these will be in my constant rotation for a while. So thank you guys for checking out my top 15. If you guys enjoyed this video, I really appreciate the thumbs up. It took a while to get all these guys out and kind of think about which ones I wanted to show you and why um, and put this whole video together. But yeah, if you guys liked it, if you want to see an individual review on any of them that I haven't reviewed, Go ahead and drop a comment down below if you want to see a review of one that I have. All the links will be in the description along with all my social media. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, keep your passion over everything.
That's Monica Lewinsky. Molly in that whiskey. That's Monica Lewinsky. Molly in that whiskey. That's Monica Lewinsky. Molly in that whiskey. That's Monica Lewinsky. It'll make her work. Monica. Monica Lewinsky. That's Monica Lewinsky. Monica Lewinsky. Monica. Monica Lewinsky. That's Monica Lewinsky. Monica, 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 Monica,